Hello everyone out there, this is Blaben Solutions and once again I want to welcome you to another episode of today's video tutorial. So in today's video, I will be taking you through how to design a certificate using Photoshop CS6. But before we get started, let me use this opportunity to say a very big thanks to you watching me right now and to all my subscribers I want to say I'm really really grateful for having you guys around and I believe and hope that watching my videos you would learn great stuff in here so I hope to bring you nothing but the best innovation when it comes to designing if you're watching this video right now and you haven't subscribed to the channel please kindly do so hit the right button over there and make sure to check the bell icon so as to be notified when next time a new video is stopped until further I do let's get started so this is my Photoshop interface go to file click new and Let's name this certificate. Let's choose international paper and let's maintain this A4 size. Now let's turn and bring this place. Let's make here 210 millimeters. Then we take 297 millimeters here. So what I'll do is I'll cut this then 297. Then I'll paste this in. Yeah. All right. So click OK. So this is my workspace. So uh, these are my resources that I'll be working with. This is a pattern. This is a certified logo and this is I don't know but yeah. so first of all I'll import my pattern template here this way then I have something like this make sure whilst dragging your heart you've held the shift key on your keyboard so you drag to get a perfect prop proportion of it now I've left the shift key so when I'm dragging look at what happens now like everything they can just move you get it and that is wrong so let me undo this by pressing ctrl z good so by holding the shift key i can go this way i can go up you see good so that is the work of the shift key so make sure you add the shift key to it all right so when this is done hit enter now the next thing is we are going to uh, go for our rectangular two then shape two sorry then let's draw a nice shape this way good we don't need an outline color so let's put it off and let's take a fill color let's say something like this okay so I'll change the color soon don't worry. so with this press ctrl T right click and choose WAP good so now with this let's shift there are two points here now okay you can see one and two so hold one the up the top one and whilst left click you can drag this in this way and let's drag this one that way too now let's shift this up a bit and draw it like this so something like this all right So use the navigational keys that is the top down to rotate or to shift this up and down okay something like this is okay so when you are done hit enter so now the next thing we are going to do is change the color of this shape so come to this small box over here double tap inside and uh, I have the hexa code here so I'll just paste it in here so it is 7B0046 that's the hexa code so this is the color I'll be, I'll be working with you are the designer so you choose the type of color that you you think is best for you so now what I'll do next is I'm going to duplicate this layer to, to, to do that you right click here 
and choose duplicate or and hit ok or you can have one layer the layer you want to duplicate and press ctrl j for the shortcut key to do the duplicate all right so i only need two of that layer so i'm going to delete this one i don't need that one so i'm going to delete it good so now uh come to the original layer that is a layer beneath and let's change the color of that to something good like so something like this Right, something like this I think then let's shift it out a bit good so control T then let's turn this this way let's turn this this way like this something like this and I think that will be nice Right, then when you are done hit enter okay so the next thing we're going to do is to make another duplicate of this layer control J that is a shortcut key I'm going to shift this layer downwards like this and I'm going to pull it out a bit like this so okay alright so something like this is good so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to group all these three layers together so with the first layer selected hold the shift key on your keyboard and select the first uh, that's the top layer of the first layer now to group this press ctrl J on your keyboard to group it so we can rename this as let's say um, color good so let's shift it back a bit by using the the navigational keys shift it back a bit all right so the next thing is i'm going to separate as and i'm going to draw a rectangular box of this nature sorry a small box like this all right So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring the rulers here. Now, with this ruler, if you can't see us there, just press Control R, Control R to get the rulers. Okay. Or you can come to the View tab here and choose ruler. Okay. So that's it, ruler. Good. So now, just hold inside this portion and drag. So I'm going to drag this here, this way. Then I'm going to hold this one. And drag this one this way and I'm going to hold this one to drag it this way I'm going to hold this one to drag this one this way good so I'm just going to do away with this small small but before let's keep them so the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to write put down my text so this is certificate of achievement right so I'll be using a font called Helvetica so so you will notice I came here and I chose this A with the concatenating but uh, beside it now this A is the text properties okay so with this property I can make edit to this text now if you check through your palette here and you can't find this A you can as well come to the Windows tab here and look for character Okay, so this character then you press it and you have it there all right so this is what i'll be using to edit the text so i'm going to choose a font 
by name Helvetica Insert. Good. So I'm going to increase the size to let's say 60. Let me see if 60 is okay. I think 60 is too much. So I'm going to decrease the size a bit to 48. I think it's okay. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import my resources in here. So I have this here. So I'm going to bring in this first. So you hold and you drag it in. With your shift key held, just press and drag. Okay. Right. So I'm going to put this one here like this and hit enter right so it's FFAA certified drone pilot okay now mind you this is for sample sake it is not an original certificate okay so this is a sample certificate I'm just showing you how to go about the design okay with this certified logo so it is not an original logo so please bear that in mind okay but if you have a logo a satisfied logo of your company or, or your brand you can as well place it anywhere here and that is cool okay, you are the designer as i said early on you are the designer so you choose where you choose what what is best right so now the next thing i'm going to do is has to do with text okay so I'm going to fast forward this portion and I'll get back to, to you soon. Alright, so welcome back. Now, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a rectangle, my shape to rectangle shape to here. Now, with the fill, I don't need a fill, I need an outline. So, I'm going to draw something like this. Alright, then select the move to now rasterize this layer by coming to this layer, right click on it, and choose rasterize layer here. Choose the marquee tool here. This is a marquee to or you press M for the shortcut key. So marquee to so press it this way. Then let's cut in between something like this. Okay, so now let's delete this. Okay. So just control D to deselect or you can come to that select tab here and press deselect. Okay. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this a, a small portion off. So to cut that, I'm going to press Ctrl X on my keyboard, and I'm going to press Ctrl V to paste it back. Okay. 
so with the move to selected sorry So with this done, select both layers and press Ctrl E on your keyboard to match them. So Ctrl T, so we scale them. Sorry for that. Ctrl T, so we scale them. Alright, so hit enter. Now, So now let's duplicate this and send one to the other side. So to duplicate Control J, then let's send this here. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the 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 one last resource in here this way. So this one takes this position like this. Alright. Alright guys, so we are almost done. So let right now let me tidy up this place and I'll get back to you shortly. Alright guys, so the final thing now is to get a uh, watermark of this lo logo in here. So I'm going to import the logo back in here. So I'm going to leave it in here like this. Then scale it to a precise scale. So I'm going to shift this downwards a bit. So I'm going to reduce the opacity. Reduce the size small. And there you have it. Alright guys, this is the end of today's video tutorial. I believe you did enjoy yourself. If you did, don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and also check the bell icon so as to be notified whenever I drop in a new video. Don't also forget to like, comment and share the video as well. Until I come your way next time, it is still Black Ben Solutions and I'm out.